Hello guys, welcome back to the Media Nights. My name is Ari. And I'm Denise. And today we're going to be watching Die Hard 3. It's three. been such a great time <laughs> watching this series. We loved one and two crazy, insane amount of explosions and, and you know, stunts like getting shot out of a plane with the ejection seat. Clearly a bit more over the top, but it is a movie that we enjoyed because it was just so much fun to see John McClane in those situations. One comment that just kept coming back was like guys just keep watching mm -hmm. we need you guys to get to the third movie because like the third movie is on par with the first movie and that i feel like that's a huge compliment that is a huge compliment and you know what we see a lot in franchises is that you know like the first one is really great and then it just kind of tapers off after that uh, it's always really hard to live up to the expectations once you've had a very good first entry but it's always great to hear when you know a movie has like a great sequel like similar amounts of comments in terminator also with alien where people were like oh my god, you have to watch the sequel. They were absolutely fantastic. So, you know, when we read comments like that, it always gives me hope when I'm like, okay, you guys actually love the franchise. There's a lot to love about it. You have a fantastic leading man. You have awesome side characters, super fun villains. And I'm, I'm curious to see what the vibe is going to be with this one. I've enjoyed every single one of these so far. So I'm excited to just have a great time with John McClane, man. He yes. is awesome. If you guys want to watch our full length reaction, I'll leave the link down in the description. And if you want to watch these reactions early, become a member of our YouTube by hitting that join button. Guys, thank you so much for your support. <laughs> Ladmia, shout out to you for becoming a producer night. Thank you so much. We hope that you guys enjoy and we'll catch you guys after the movie. I am curious to see what the event is going to be in this third film. So we got the Nakatomi Plaza first one. We got the airport situation in the second one. Mm -hmm. What the hell is going to happen now? <laughs> ah. Hey. Die Hard 3. With a vengeance. vengeance. <laughs> love the aggressive titles. I love it. Oh, oh shit! What? Well, that ruined the vibe. <laughs> I know, I was out here vibing. What the hell? Everybody's getting mobilized yeah. now. It's like we gotta fix this. From hell, Walter. Yeah. I think you better take this. Oh, it's serious when it's a first name basis. I want to play a game. What kind of game? Simon Says. Ah, uh -huh. now I get those comments. Everybody was saying Simon Says. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Simon Says Lieutenant McLean is to go to the corner of 138th Street or Amsterdam, which is in Harlem, if I'm not mistaken. Kowalski! Lambert! Oh, that is scary. They're looking for him, like, personally looking for him. This is not looking good. Is he hung over? <laughs> I was... I didn't want to jump to conclusions, but he does. That's a priority out in California. Contractor mm. split some money with the thief. We had it out in Jersey a couple years ago, Joe, remember? See what Kelly can do with it. He's already solving cases left I know. and right. He can't help it. 69.91, lucky number. Half the cops in New York play their badges. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't talk to Holly. Coming up on an inspector. He didn't um, seem too happy about that. Are they in trouble again? The trouble in paradise? We're gonna drop back to 128th Street. What? So you're going uh, in alone? Yeah. Ten blocks? Are you kidding me? Ten blocks? He's gonna blow up another public <laughs> well, place. Why me? What does he got to do with me? I have no idea. He just said it had to be you. I wonder who he is. It's nice to be needed. <laughs> I bet it is. Okay. It's like back in business, baby. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> it's like literally in his shorts. I expect to be dead in four. Let's go, Billy. Hopefully not. We wouldn't have a movie. That's nerve wracking, though. Alone, no backup again. I swear. You couldn't it's... even bring some snipers for the poor guy. The uh, villain Simon must be good if they don't even dare, you know? He's got them already riled up. Mm hmm. <laughs> like what the hell? <laughs> it's New York. It's yeah. You see shit like that all thing. the time. Yeah. He keeps stealing from people. They're gonna find him in a dumpster. No, he didn't steal it. Says his uncle gave it to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's like right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about this, man. <laughs> you want us to take it back to Tony? No, I'll take it back to Tony with a message. Ooh, Ooh. Tony's in trouble. So who's going to help? We're going to help ourselves. And who do we not want to help us? 
white, white people. people. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Talk him well. Give me your hand. There you Good go. Good job, buddy. I know. <gasps> oh, wow. Tell the police to get up here quick. Somebody's about to get killed. In Harlem? What? Oh, he... I'm surprised. He, that's a death that's wish. That's why the lady looked at him like that. Damn. Yeah, they want him dead, whoever they are. Never mind. You don't really see that in New York every day. No, he... <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Gonna reel that back real quick. Yeah. Now you got about 10 seconds before those guys see you. When they do, they will kill you. You understand? Oh, yeah. They yeah. won't hesitate. Sir, this is a police matter for your own safety. I'm gonna you damn right it's a police matter street. for your own safety. I suggest you hide your butt in my shop till the police get here. What the fuck? Oh, shit. He's gonna have to get involved. Mm. Oh, oh, my God. This is so uncomfortable. <sighs> I am the... Voice of my own god. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> Very bad headache and my head does not feel the- Ah! Oh. You've made a very bad mistake. Oh, you know. oh, he is so vulnerable, man. This is scary. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, come on! Back the- You got with Jack! He got lucky he's, uh... <sighs> He's got his back. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what the hell? What is going on, Jesus? They dialed this up to 11. He's like, put that money away. We're not robbing you, man. Just drive. <laughs> we just need a getaway car. No. Just keep pressure on it. Oh, oh shit. shit. That was incredible. So tense. That was so tense. Chill out, hey, Sue. Chill out. What the car, fuck? Are you trying to relate to me? Talk like a white man. Okay. <laughs> Zeus. Yeah, Zeus. As in father of Apollo, Mount Olympus. Don't with me or I'll shove a lightning bolt up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> man, the comedy is already freaking this amazing. This is on point, dude. This is so good. These two are going to be great. Oh, Such great leads. My god. Great chemistry already. Just give me some aspirins, will you? No, okay. Hold us here. Yeah, he got hit in the head pretty hard, man. Yeah. He wants you to dance to his tune and then. Don't address me. <laughs> I mean. Essentially. Did seven years for good behavior released on a state work furlough two months ago? Check it. Oh. Thanks, Rick. They're doing their homework already. Yeah. Good. We found this in a playground. Professional. Very what? cool stuff. You know. Boom. You think you should slam it around like this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was going to say. He's like, can you be a little bit more careful with that, please? Two liquids. Now, either one by itself. Harmless. You got nothing. But can we not blow up a table? Ricky. Oh, no way. Oh, oh. wow. That was a drop. How long before? Ten seconds, two minutes. Could be anything. Hmm. But once it's mixed, That's be it. somewhere else. I mean, sounds about right. Livermore Labs theft over the weekend. Hey, he's on top of it. About 2,000 pounds. Ooh. Well, the detonating mechanism can be anything. Radio, electrical. They can hide it in anything now, yeah? Yeah. Want to stop the trace? They got a call? Yeah. Why was it they did go, you cannot tell, you do not know? You mean McClay? No, I mean Santa Claus. Don't follow. Uh -huh. And your friend? Hart! Hart! Come on, we need you in the room. Let's go. Come on. They need you. Go. Yeah, he's here too. Oh, he got sucked into this too now because he helped? My only problem is that I went to some trouble preparing that game for McLean. You interfered with a well-laid plan. Well, you can stick your well-laid plan up your well-laid ass. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. I like him, too. Yeah. <laughs> Ricky, you want to tell those people to shut the hell up out there? Can you imagine just one drop of that liquid? Oh one drop God. did that much damage? Imagine the whole thing. tiny. Yeah. So, what's your name, boy? Don't call me boy. I'm sorry. It was a poor attempt at humor. Very poor. No, wait, they say it's Norway? Juarez, Mexico. No, wait, no, wait. Now, now they're saying it's Juarez, Mexico. Oh, it's jumping. Oh. I understand that you're a wacko that likes to play kids' games. That's what I understand. Hardly. Hardly? <laughs> <laughs> we 
He's so fed up with these kind of people. I know. This is Inspector Cobb. I can appreciate your feelings for McLean. But believe me, the jerk isn't worth it. <laughs> His own wife wants nothing to do with him, and he's about two steps shy of becoming a full-blown alcoholic. One step. One step. He's <laughs> like, I'm that close, man. I'm way closer. <laughs> you know, money is shit to me. I would not give up McLean for the gold in your Fort Knox. He mm. wants McLean, yeah. yeah. There's no chance. The very mention of money only enraged him further. Mm -hmm. This is someone from his past. I wonder if it's someone that we know. You asking me to be a cop again, Walter? Ricky, get him his gun, all right? You didn't answer my question. Joe, this time they... Hey! You didn't answer my question, Walter. Are you done, Lieutenant? Hey! <laughs> Joe, this time they go with backup. You got it. Lieutenant. Lieutenant. I'm not jumping through hoops for some psycho. That's a white man with white problems. You deal with it. Call me when he crosses 110th Street. Hey. He's done with everybody, man. He just, just let me out of it. Leave me out of it. I ain't your neighbor, your brother, or your friend. I'm your total stranger. Okay. Stranger. He's checking everybody, man. <laughs> Putting them in check. I love it. He's working on a nice fat suspension. Smoking cigarettes and watching Captain Kangaroo. Come on. The dialogue in this is so reminiscent of the first one. It's fast, it's witty, it's funny, sarcastic. It brings the best out of these characters. The way they're written here is fantastic. It really does, dude. This is so good already. Get out the damn phone, lady. Police business. Oh, never. I can get used to this. <laughs> you don't like the way I do things? Fine. I quit. Damn. No, come back. You guys got to figure out how to get along. All right, I need you more than you need me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what he wanted to hear. <laughs> there you go. That's all he wanted to hear. Who are you calling? The psychic hotline. I'd advise you to take this more seriously. Look, it's a public phone. What do you want me to say? You can simply say there was a fat woman on it and it took you a minute to get her off. Oh, he can see them. Oh. Yeah. There's a significant amount of explosive in the trash receptacle next to you. Try to run and it goes up now. Oh, shit. Now, do I have your attention? Yeah. Absolutely. Sure do. I met a man with seven wives. Every wife had seven sacks. Every sack has seven cats. Every cat has seven kittens. Kittens, cats, sacks, and wives. How many were going to some dives? My phone number is 555. No, 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 wait. I didn't get all that. Say it again. Not a chance. My phone number is 555 and the answer. Call me in 30 seconds or die. Oh, shit. 30 seconds to figure out this riddle. Oh, your sack with seven stacks. you listening? Seven. Yeah, I was listening to hear every fucking thing. What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, I, besides having a bad. This is horrible. 24, 2,401. That's what you got, right? Yeah, that's what I got. <laughs> He's like, yeah, sure. <laughs> it's a trick. What do you mean? I forgot about the man. What, man? Fuck the man. We got 10 seconds. He said, there. how many were going to St. Ives, right? The riddle begins as I was going to St. Ives. I met a man with seven wives. Ah. I know who's going to St. Ives then? The guy. Just the guy. Just, the guy. Just one guy's going. Hello, John. Yeah, piece of cake. Give us he got it. Get down! Get the fuck! Wow, he's just Damn, he's got full power over them. Yeah. Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's a great voice for the villain. I wonder who it is. He's got eyes on them, though. He's gotta be close. They gotta keep their eyes peeled, man. Yeah. I didn't say Simon Says. It ah. Use any means of travel other than civilian, I blow the train. Attempt to evacuate the subway, I blow the train. I call you in 30 minutes, be there. This is such a smart way to keep the story going, man. Yeah. I was saying, I used to drive a cab, 9th Avenue is the fastest way south. But we seem to be going east. Start heading south, my friend. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Stop going goddamn yelling, I know what I'm doing. What you're doing? <laughs> hey, when he was a cabbie, he would know these things, no? I didn't it's say park drive. <laughs> He's gonna cut through the park? No way, dude. <laughs> wow. That road is always jammed, man. It's horrible. It's a nightmare. Imagine you're just there having a peaceful picnic, just walking around, doing some tourism. Oh. Ah. Wow, the camera movement in this is great too. You feel like you're in the vehicle. I really hope this uh, cab is insured. do that thing? North, south, west, east. How much time? 
<laughs> I love that he had to ask him. That's funny. I got two officers down at the corner of 14th Street and 9th Avenue. Need an ambulance. Over. Smart. They're going to get here hella quick like that. Oh. Dude, this is so good. So resourceful. I love it. It's so cool seeing New York back in the 90s. Yeah. It's changed quite a bit, actually. More than yeah. we thought. That's so smart. I love that. All right, 18 minutes. Damn, <laughs> he doesn't so care, dude. Sidewalk. Sidewalk. He's like, I mean, let's go. You gotta get to that payphone by 10:20. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna get that bomb. Listen, you fail, I cover your ass. I fail, you cover my ass. And if we both fail, then we're both. Go now, drive. Yeah. Also, attention to detail. The one, two, three train is indeed the train that takes you to Wall Street. So they paid attention to that. No way. That's a horrible idea. God damn it, McLean. <laughs> Just hanging from the damn train. Get in, get in, get in. Man. <laughs> what is this movie? It's non-stop. I'm loving it, man. Oh, the pacing of this is just so good. You got this. No! Yeah, I think he's no! a cabbie. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. He ain't talking uh, anymore. This is shot so well, dude. What the hell? The camera work is so immersive. Very reminiscent to the cinematography in the first one, as well. The camera follows the characters, and it mimics their movements, too. Oh, <gasps> shit. Son of a... Jesus. Gotta be very gentle with that, man. <laughs> it's broken, man. What was it back then? Like a dollar, really? You're gonna pull out your weapon for this? Now it's like 475 <laughs> for a single trip. I know. Have fun. Watch, excuse me, pardon me. Watch, watch your back. John, please, I need you to get there on time. Or the other end of the car. Go now, please. Great performance. You can see, you can hear the tremble in his voice. He's nervous. Watch. Watch oh shit. The red liquid, it's already mixing. And McLean? He's on his way. Uh, you know, he's a little slow. He's kind of out of shape. <laughs> the rules are <laughs> He's kind of out of shape. <laughs> Oh, he's getting ready for the blast. Yeah. Oh, oh no, that's it. Ooh. Oh. Damn. Oh, shoot. Holy crap, dude. It derailed the entire train. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> that was a close one, man. That train stopped right on time. It's a good thing they separated, actually. It worked out in the end. They wouldn't have had time otherwise. No. There's no way. At least John was there to toss the thing out of the train, you know? McLean? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe my life, man. I love this guy. He's insane. <laughs> John, this is Andy Cross with the FBI. Ooh, FBI. Oh, this is going to be a jurisdictional nightmare. With another agency. It's good to meet you. No name. Got it. CIA? <laughs> now that you mention, I have experienced a, you know, like a burning sensation between my toes. I thought it was just... <laughs> Athletes. I knew he was going to say some super shit. We were told you would be cooperative. Cooperate hey, with what? And who said that? <laughs> he speaks with a German accent. And for some reason, he's very angry with me. Now, maybe you can tell me why, fellas. Yeah, if you guys have any extra info, now is the time to share, guys. Exactly. So we can figure out who it is, and we go from there. Now we believe he's working for the Iranians. Working. Freelance terrorism. By contract. Oh, wow. Jeez. GDR medical records show he suffers from migraines. His name is Peter Krieg. That's funny. Krieg mm. means war in German. Now, do you want to tell me what the hell this has to do with me? The name Gruber mean anything to you, Lieutenant? 
Gruber. Yes, absolutely. As in Hans? Yes. It rings a bell, yeah. L.A. What? That thing in the building in L.A. Who is this guy? Peter Creek was born Simon Peter Gruber. Oh! oh. Gruber's brother. Oh, you're so there screwed. There you go. You're this done is now. personal as yeah. hell. Wow, Hans, they circle back bro. to that. Inspector, it's him. Oh shit, here we go again. I'm sure he knows already. Now who from the FBI is in the van, I wonder? Let's see, almost certainly cross. <laughs> wow. Say hello, say hello, Bill. Still trying to butch up by chewing on your glasses, huh? <laughs> oh, damn, <laughs> that is scary, man. Yo. This guy is great. He is great. 2,400 pounds of explosive in one of the 1,446 schools in- That is a lot of explosive. We got something of a bargain on radio detonators. The only problem is the darn things seem to respond to police and FBI frequencies. So if I were you, I'd keep off your radios. They're shut- Yeah, cutting off communication. Ooh. This guy thought of everything. Yeah, he did. He's methodical like his brother. All right, Ricky, get every senior officer on the site. Get him here right- Jeez. He even knew the guy from the agency. And he has told us that we cannot evacuate, but he has not said that we cannot search. Mm, hmm. Smart. Paid attention to everything he said. Yeah. Now, I'd like to keep the media out of this as long as possible, because if right. they get in, we've got a panic. Mm -hmm. Are we in agreement? I think he's so smart for doing this. I believe this is probably to use up all of the resources in looking, and that's how he just keeps all of them on their toes. And while they're doing all the work over there, he can plan something yeah. on the left. When nobody's looking. It is. It is yeah. that actor. You can begin. I knew it. Yeah. He's talking it. to someone. They're going to be looking elsewhere. And meanwhile, they're working on the real problem. This guy is smart. I love how he's written. And sink. It's funny because like when I heard the voice on the phone, I was like, I recognize that voice so well. Of course, it's him. He's got a great voice. I did not recognize yeah. him, unfortunately. Can we talk about how good this is, though? This, I am hooked I right am now. I am so happy that this is <laughs> this is becoming my favorite, I think, already. I think so. I'm not even going to wait until it ends because it's just been such a great time. Uh, all the trucks they stole, they were not in California. Bob Tops, city engineer's office. We'd like to get an idea of the damage. Oh, and that's the other right guy right in the front photo. of them. A lot of opinion makers. The mayor doesn't want to piss off, you know? <laughs> All the important people. I love how he changed his accent to um, the American accent, like his brother in the first one. Murphy, come on, you too! Rick Walsh. John Johnson. Hiding in plain sight, man. Mr. Vanderfluk. Also, his uh, glasses are fabulous. I want a pair of my own. <laughs> They've infiltrated so too, man. So what's up with this L.A. thing? Yeah, for about five minutes. Don't tell me. Rodney King, right? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. You mean to tell me I'm in this shit because some white cop threw some white asshole brother off a roof? Essentially, that is what happened. <laughs> Governments, central banks, that sort of thing. Apart from the mm. depository, of course. Of course. Yeah. He knows this already. Why is he mm -hmm. here? <laughs> flower business. That's the girl from the photo yes. as well. G oh, damn, man. Whatever they planned, it's, uh, it's insane. Yeah, the way they infiltrated everything already, just like that. That's crazy, man. Our alarms are sonic and seismic. Two things which I'm afraid do not react well to explosions. You know, the, the right. subway business is not call our systems into a cocked hat. Ah. Mm-hmm. That's it. They knew exactly the event that would start the domino effect to get all of this to work. <laughs> he was also in on it. Man, they got someone everywhere. Wow. Can't trust anybody, man. They're just gonna take the vault out. <laughs> like holy crap. That's one way to get to the... Oh, that's a bunch of gold. Gold. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> They're already in, man. Yeah. Wow. They really were already <laughs> they in. Really? How many guys does he have on this job, man? 
That's so many people, man. Pretty impressive, honestly. <laughs> it's like the, the German uh, Casa de Papel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's the worst way to go. She was just being thorough. <laughs> Triple check it, you know, every artery. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> That's a freaking lot of gold, man. Oh my god. 140 billion dollars. 140 billion? Damn. That's crazy though. The amount of pandemonium that they cause, they can just walk in and they don't have to worry about ever getting caught. What is four legs and is always ready to travel? Huh? What? what? Okay. Four legs and always ready to travel. Well, when are you gonna start helping? After you get the bomb. <laughs> he's like, I'm just not gonna go grab it, but I, I promise I'll be here for you when you get back. He's the emotional support. <laughs> can do it, John. <laughs> promise I'll be here when you get back. So he just said. Yeah. And it's gonna be all right. Yeah, you can just tell how jumpy they are. Yeah. I'd be too, honestly. Shit! Shit! I told you not to open it. He was right. Should not have opened it. Yeah, I got it. We're not gonna run. Now we turn this thing off. On the fountain, there should be two jugs. You see? Yeah, saw mm -hmm. them. Fill one of the jugs with exactly four gallons of water and place it on the scale. One ounce or more or less will result in detonation. If one ounce? They're gonna have to do math. Yeah. Quick maths. One is five, the other one is three. They need four, yeah. right? It needs to be exactly four. I'm his ass off and I'm out here playing kids' games in the park. Hey! Yeah, he's like, this is not what I'm good at, man. I'm good at running and gunning, but these problems and riddles ain't... It ain't for me, man. Wait, this has to have a solution. So it's five gallons and the other one is three. Well, the, is the issue filling is in the precision. five. What about filling in the five, pouring it into the three, and then what's left on the other one should be exactly one, one gallon. Leaving exactly one gallon of empty space, right? Right. Yeah. A full five mm -hmm. gallons here, right? right? You pour one gallon out of five gallons into there, we have exactly that's four gallons. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah that's the solution. <laughs> Okay, I got one right, at least. You did it, McClane. Put it on his face, get it down there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, they did it, they did it. <laughs> They're a great team, I love this. Let me tell you something, I got a bad hangover, all right? And I'm a little sick of these fucking riddles. <laughs> yeah, he's done. And all the cops are into something. It's Christmas, you could steal City Hall. Hey, it's like Christmas. Oh, like Christmas, just, there it like, is. He's like, wait, City Hall. Speaking nice. of Christmas, out of all of them, I think this one is a Christmas movie, for <laughs> sure. This one is giving me the most Christmas vibes. <laughs> Perhaps you could be a little more specific. McLean is here. He's walking toward the bank. They figured it out. Mm -hmm. Sir, thank you so much for your assistance. We really appreciate it. Thank They're so good. Mm -hmm. Playing everybody. I'm kind. Also, still Ryan. Ah. At least he's got a soul, right? He's yeah. like, some kid could get in, you know? Yeah. We're not completely evil. You are leaving this place up, Friday? He's gonna know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, let's go, baby. This is what John is good at. He's good at running and gunning. Yes, running and gunning. This is his uh, territory now. <laughs> I love that he's trying to button up his shirt. Like, that's gonna make a difference. I love those small details, man. He's such a great character. Are you all right? Yes. Laundry day. <laughs> Detective uh, Auto, isn't it? Yeah. I love those little <gasps> small looks they're giving each other like, I know. he's here, guys. He's here. I keep telling myself I'm going to take the stairs just for the exercise. Oh my god, he's getting him. Oh my god. In an elevator with the enemy. It's like Steve Rogers surrounded by a hydra. <laughs> Look at how he's looking at John McClane. What a creep! Stop staring! Oh, he knows already. Mm -hmm. Of course John knows. He's waiting for them to make a move. Look at that. He knows the badge number that was from oh. his friend! Oh no! The last 10 years plays the same two numbers all the time. I say, honey, why don't you play a different number? She goes, well... Those are my lucky numbers. I got the tickets right here. Oh, <laughs> let's go! Got oh, the tickets shit. right here, baby. Oh, God. Jeez. God. 
Missed. <gasps> oh, wow. Anybody down here? I forgot these can get gory, man. <laughs> Jeez. You all right? Yeah, yeah, it's not my blood. Go take a look at it. I don't know if that's necessarily, like, supposed to make him feel better. It's not my blood, it's fine. Everything is all right. <laughs> he always ends up <laughs> in a muscle tee, in a white one. Cause we gotta show how grimy oh, and yeah, bloody he gets, on, you know. Badass. We have to, yeah, he's a man's right. man. He's a man's man. Wait, this was never about revenge. It's about a goddamn heist. What is this? Oh shit! Is this gold? <laughs> Put that shit down. No fucking way. There you go. <laughs> he's like, this is my commission for helping. Okay, just yeah, one, listen, one of these gold. Let him keep it. <laughs> Shut the phone. Oh, she's bad. Oh, no. Well, what about Yankee Stadium? We'll get there, but that son of a bitch is not getting off a of Manhattan. I'm going to the Bronx. Couldn't close a hot dog stand right now. I'm spread all over hell. What about this damn bomb? Right that was exactly the plan, man. Spread you guys thin. I don't allow dump trucks on the FBI. Coming! All right. You know what I should argue? I won't argue, no matter how stupid it is. I like how we saw technology also progress through these movies. They had a yeah. beeper in the previous one. Now they have, you know... <laughs> Cell phones? I know. It's awesome. Wake up and smell the 90s. <laughs> thank you, thank you. What do you want to talk about? What? There's a bomb in a school. Uh, he's letting the oh, press know. Crap. Create chaos. You still got airbags? Okay. Your side does. I don't know about my... <laughs> no. Jesus. <laughs> he's got balls of steel, man. This truck driver? It. No, I'm a beautician. Of course I'm a truck driver. <laughs> <laughs> what does it look like I am? See? Goes from here all the way up to the Catskill Mountains. Whoa. What the? That! The water pipe goes for about 60 miles. Are they dumping the gold there? Are they, what are they doing? What are they doing? Ah, it doesn't need to tore ass up the tube. We're not loading up there anymore. We're loading over here. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So they're using the water. You can get there on the surface. Just follow the Sawmill River Parkway up there. It's about 20 miles. All right, I'm going to meet you right... Damn, all the way upstate? Damn. Park is phase three of Tunnel 3. Planning for it began back in... He's like, thank you for all the information. What a hell of a place to break down. Hold it a minute. No, 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 no. Let me have your hard hat. Yeah. You got a jacket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Suspicious. Wait here a that's not a breakdown. Hey, listen, we had a report of a guy coming through here with uh, eight reindeer. <laughs> eight oh. reindeer! Oh. My police unit. Get him down here. Find him. Tell him you were with John McClain. Tell him to find out who the 21st president was. Chester A. Arthur. Hey! Oh, wow. Of course he would know. Did you know he was collector of customs right here in New York? I love this man. Collector of customs. He is the best. He's the, he's the true MVP. <laughs> They even Damn. brought the people of New York to help. I love that, you know? I know. It's so cool. Except for that one guy that was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> But you need to have that because you will definitely get yeah. called that in New York. It ain't New York if someone doesn't, doesn't cuss you out on the yes. way to work. Yep. We need den anderen auch. Find Ricky. Find out what the hell is going on. Walter! Yeah? You gotta hear this. Oh. Ah, damn, he came through. Yeah. Don't alarm your children. I wonder if you could move them all into the auditorium and keep them calm. So, so dynamic, man. I'm yeah, loving this. So the two henchmen, they were saying, because it just translated as we'll follow, but they actually were saying that they need both of them together. Your boys down at the bank, they're going to be a little late. John. A little bit late. Take care of all of them, buddy. I wonder what the deal be out of the question. Yeah, I got a deal for you. Crawl out from under that rock you're hiding under and I'll drive this truck up your ass. <laughs> He's how like, colorful. how colorful. So likable. I know. You think he starts stuttering when he gets those migraines? Mm. That's why he was stuttering in the beginning? It could be. Migraines ain't fun, man. They make you shake and shit. Yeah, look Sometimes. at them. Tremors and it's not fun. We blown it down. What? We drowned it. What? Yummy. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> They're gonna blow up the dam? That's. <gasps> Was that it? Was that it? Or am I being paranoid? <laughs> In the silence. Oh no. 
John, you gotta get out of there, my guy. You gotta get out of there, dude. Is that a rumble? It is a rumble. Oh! Oh! Run! No! Stop staring and go! He's gonna have to drive in reverse, right? If you, uh, yeah, that's probably quicker you really than wanna get running. Out of there. Wow! Oh, <laughs> that was awesome. He's a pretty good driver. Did a full 180 full drift with yeah. a truck. <laughs> the water's Close already splashing in. <laughs> Dude. Oh. 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 I need that. Could have been worse, right? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! He's got some experience with ejections. He's fine. <laughs> that's He'll be true. All right. Oh shoot! That's a lot of red liquid. People that work in those kind of situations, like bomb squads, they have nerves of steel, man. Oh, there is a school. Oh, there you go. Well, I mean, they already know where the bomb is, so is it going to be helpful? Listen to me. Hang the f all right. Okay. Dude, it feels like we're in the car with them. I love it. Oh. oh, wow. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you can was... drift now, baby. I know. Oh. That was so badass, though. Oh, oh no. Why? These four kids are in so much danger, they don't even know it, man. Nice, with the handheld approach, dude. The camera work is so dynamic. This is so much fun. The guy in the dump truck had 10 quarters, exactly 10 quarters. Well, maybe they were making a long distance phone call. For the bridge. What? For the toll on the bridge. Oh. We can jump. What? No way, dude. We can what? jump. Get mine. It's 100 feet down. The <laughs> yeah. The cables are cut you in half. Look in the back of that car for some gloves. Oh. Oh, okay. That worked out. It ends. I like his confidence though. He's like, yeah, we can jump. <laughs> it's like freaking skyscraper well, distance. I mean, yeah, we can do it. Yeah, it's personal now. It feels more personal to him now. No, Joe, we're gonna wait. McLean still may get the code. <sighs> Trust in your boy McLean, man. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. Is that another henchman? Yeah. Oh shit. Yep. Okay, that's the end of the rope. Haul ass. Yeah. Ah! Ooh! Ah. Ooh! Oh! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Ow. Dude, he... Well, McLean foreshadowed it. He said it'll cut you in half. Yeah, they're hurt, man. They've been through a rough, rough time. It, it's been a long frickin' day, yeah, this okay? this guy's hangover as hell. <laughs> Get his feet. You mean the lower half? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, that's funny. Small treats. What is that? What was that? How's it work? You know how to shoot a gun? Look, our brothers don't know how to shoot guns, you racist mother. Yes. <laughs> Keeps calling him a racist. <laughs> I mean, the first time we met him, he was wearing a sign with the N-word on it. Fair so. enough, fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. You know, John is a good guy because at least he hasn't pulled the, I have a black friend line, <laughs> you know, back at, yeah, I'm back, not racist. back home. I have black friends. In LA, he's great, great cop, you know. That's how you know he's a real one. John actually knows. <laughs> okay, so far his... Stealth work is pretty good. He's not bad. I like this guy. As, no, I love him. He's great. As a partner for John, finally somebody that's kind of competent. The acting is so natural too. He's so great. Like, oh, oh. yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Brute forcing this. Yeah. Don't fucking move. Should all Damn. of them keep him alive? Yeah. Ballsy. You're calling that code right now. Or I blow your sick ass into the next world. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. 
Damn. We're not going to give them the code. No, of course not. Oh, oh he was going to do it. Oh. Go on, take a seat to catch up. Oh. oh. No. <sighs> I guess he just assumed, right? That basic knowledge that he would know. And He's I guess. a cop, so that kind of stuff. Ah. Uh, comes naturally to you? Yeah. yeah. What was that? <laughs> oh, jeez! Three, two, one, go! Go, 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 go! Let's do it! Their heart must be like <sighs> pounding out of their chest, man. I can't even Those imagine. Those are so man. many lives in their hands right now, and they're kids, man. I know. They have no idea. Well, that's why they're like playing it almost like a game, right? Like it's just a drill type of deal. Oh, holy jeez! <laughs> Another big guy with fabulous hair. It's always the same thing. That's so true. Yo, where you going? Hey, oh, where you going? Oh, no. Oh. And you don't go away. I'm that fucking energizer bunny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh! Right in the leg. He is like that energizer bunny. <laughs> oh! Yep. Nice, okay. When John likes you, he likes you. He's gonna give you that special <laughs> McLean treatment, man. Don't you worry. It takes a minute 15 if you're a kid, Charlie. And last I looked, you weren't too light on your feet. Now move. It's done, Jeez. man. They're all out. Oh my God! Oh well, yeah, they got the kids yeah. on the on the what? Yeah, in the room. We still have kids in the building. Shit. He needs to stay. No, Charlie, get out of there. You ever see that show? He's not gonna do that, man. Who cares? Please don't blow up the school. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Dude, he's in such a bad state. I feel so bad. He does not care. He's just one objective. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah, there I you like go. that. Smart guy. I know. Oh, the score. Yes. It's so good. <laughs> Ah, damn. This guy is good. You saw that? <laughs> he climbed that real quick. Friggin' parkour. Oh, no. Oh, dude, no. Come on, come on, come on, please. Looks like my boss in Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> that was my intrusive thought. Oh. oh. Did take syrup? It's okay. a fake. The real bomb is on this ship. Of course it is. Of course is. it is. You know, your brother was an a- <laughs> <laughs> He was an asshole. You, you got his number. Huh? He's like, yeah, he was. I hated him. <laughs> Do you have the ability to record a message? Yes. And please begin now. Let's see what's the message. Let's hear it. For too long, the West has conspired to steal the wealth of the world Consigning the balance of humanity to economic starvation. Is that his manifesto? Sounds like it, right? The gold your economies are built on will be redistributed by explosive across the bottom of the Long Island Sound. Oh no. Oh, you this is really bad. It all up. That's yeah. the idea. And everybody that's close enough to see it. There's a difference, you know, between not liking one's brother and not caring when some dumb Irish flatfoot drops him out of a window. Hey, I didn't even know that mother. Yeah, I <laughs> no code, no riddle, no fancy little countdown. Hey, fuck it. Yeah, you, fuck it. He does not care, man. <laughs> got any aspirins? I've had a bad fucking headache all day long. <laughs> does he? Must be a lucky day. He does. <laughs> hey. I love that John McClane's attitude is there until the last freaking moment. Man. I wonder if he did that on purpose, though. If that was tactical. Take he's away the pills us. for him. He knows he's got migraines. Containers are filled with that. Oh, what? What? They, they turned on that guy? Hey, yep. I guess they have uh, other plans. The only thing better than blowing up $100 billion worth of gold is <laughs> making people think he did. Yeah, well, we're exactly. Yeah, so they don't look for course. the money. You know, you're not gonna die. Yeah, you know some cop trick about handcuffs is gonna get us out of this? Yeah, use a key. 
<laughs> That's simple. Is this a black shit again? Will you stop that racial shit? Are you a fucking locksmith or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could do it if I had something to do it with. How about a splinter of that cable I slid down? I love their banter, man. It's so good. Oh, fuck. How's that? Is that big enough? Yeah, yeah, that might work. Oh no. Drop this motherfucker, all right? I totally would drop it in that situation. Do not ever pass me anything. Spit it. Yeah! Okay, good. Good. <laughs> okay. Weiss found that bomb up in Harlem? Yeah. They found it down in Chinatown. Uh -huh. Oh, now that's low. Even for a white love you. <laughs> it is. Surprised anybody to stay with you long enough to be married. Yeah, well, she didn't stick around too long. We're sort of separated. Ah, uh, there oh, you go. Come Confirmation. On. I was in New York. We had a fight on the phone. She hung up. I didn't call her back. How long ago was that? About a year ago now. Damn, a whole year? What? You never called her back? You better yeah. stop fucking laughing. I'm doing these cuffs. <laughs> I'm almost dead. <laughs> Damn, how's that for concentration? That's <laughs> not for concentration. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I think I made it mad. Oh boy. What do you mean you made it mad? What did you do? Kevin McClain, listen to me. Just go. Don't you go. Through the day without having your death on my conscience, man. Shut yeah. the fuck up yes. and think, all right? Okay, okay, cool. You guys gotta work together, man. Yeah. No splitting up now. Ah. Try to minimize as much as they can. Oh my god, so frantic. Oh, so, oh my god, this is amazing. I'm loving the stylistic choices, yeah. Chaotic. Oh wow, look at that shockwave. Damn. They did not get obliterated by this much. That was way too close. Right now they're busy with this salvage operation, I guess. No, dr dredges, dredges. They're just wasting their time, there's no gold out there. Yeah, Right. money's long gone, man. You're still alive, aren't you? So he lost. Lambert, did you give him a quarter? Yeah, so. <laughs> uh -huh. Ah, I can't smoke him. Damn it. Yeah, it's John. Yeah, I'm hanging in there. Is Holly there? No, hold Aww. on. It's calling Holly. Good for you. Good job, man. Best use of a quarter ever. What? Oh, they're having a party. I mean, shit. I'd be having a party too with all that gold. <laughs> hey. Yeah. It's been a great villain, man. Der Jet ist in Nova Scotia. In 20 Minuten können wir. I don't know. I'm feeling like they're up to no good still. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I knew it. What the hell is that? Hey. Oh. oh. They just uh, completely misread that situation. Yeah, it's just, you know, that's how they like it. You guys got visitors. that gold they're not gonna I mean true gonna leave without it you go as the trucks I have something personal to finish mm-hmm I bet you do pal <laughs> one hell of an operation though look like... at all this helicopter trucks oh, we got a chopper behind us you got a gun on board what is this <laughs> tiny little gun <laughs> Ooh, oh no, they got big guns. Oh, we're going down. See these white tension wires? See these wires? Hey, Emergency we're landing. Uh, <laughs> God! <laughs> Dude! We got fucking smoke and shit flying on me! <laughs> Ooh. Oh my God. Get him out of here. Where are you going? I'm trying to get his attention. Damn, he's a real one, man. Protecting. He really is. Always protecting his buddies. Yeah. You need something to shoot them back. It just keeps getting better. You got only two? What do you mean? I had no that idea. Canada could be this much fun. 
just give me something to shoot. Come on, let's shoot. Show me that smile and face. He's being blinded by the light. It's so hard. Yeah. Come on, McLean. Oh, shit. Uh. Say hello to your brother. Oh, oh. No way! Let's see. Like that? Damn, Yippee dog. Kaye, motherfucker. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. Always. Either right before an incredible explosion or right after. Exactly. <laughs> Has to come in. I'm going to use that in my day-to-day -day vocabulary, dude. Let him cook. <laughs> <laughs> Let him cook? What? What now? Left Holly hanging on hold. I'll call her oh, back. Oh, no. She's a very stubborn woman. She'd have to be to stay married to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yay. Man, what a great freaking time. This is, I think, one of the fastest paced ones. Like, it literally, yes. they just took care of the villain and it's credits. This was nonstop. This also had some of the levels of that insanity, right? But it felt a little bit more grounded. I feel like this was the perfect combo between the first and the second one. Yes. Like, it took the best elements out of both, and it made it work in this one. I agree with you. This is definitely a great mix between one and two. This is exactly what I was uh, talking about. We were talking about this, actually, that if they were able to kind of really back a little bit and give us some more action without going into the, you know, unbelievable territory, that we could have a lot of fun. And they delivered with this, man. This was like, from the get-go, you are sucked into this story because it comes out of nowhere for John, so they have no context which is super smart they're giving us all of the information as they're getting it and because they're getting a call pretty much every seven minutes you're constantly getting flooded with information we as an audience have to constantly adapt to what's happening and they as characters constantly have to figure out what's going on and that dynamic just makes it so much fun to follow along because you mentioned dynamic like the first thing that i thought of is just the chemistry between samuel l jackson and bruce willis i mean i think we're, this was a while back when we watched something with samuel l jackson where we, we were just talking about the fact that he has this immense talent of generating so much chemistry with the, his, scene um, partner. his scene partners, mm -hmm. right? And that that is immense talent. Seeing the banter between these two, the abundance of sass, and they're so stressed and they're dirty <laughs> and covered in blood and oil and all these things. And it's just, just when they think they're getting somewhere, it's one step forward and two steps back. And you see them griping at each other, but in the end, they always come together. And it's almost like they formed some sort of brotherhood, like a very solid bond through all of the crazy stuff yeah. they went through such a wonderful dynamic to this but i mean I'm, I'm always gonna love you know john mcclain you know going off on his own being a badass handling shit on his own that's absolutely great no problems with that at all but this added such beautiful dynamic that i didn't even know i needed yeah and the other extra oomph that i think this sequel had versus the other two is that this time like they gave us this whole sandbox feel to the world it's like oh you're not locked in into one place anymore mm -hmm. you know we actually commented on this in the second film it was like oh my mm -hmm. god it feels bigger than nakatomi plot there's mm -hmm. multiple locations, right? You have the, the locations of the airport, you have the headquarters where they were, and it kind of felt a little bit more than dynamic. Oh, and you were cutting back and forth between the people in the plane and in the ground level, right? right? This time they were like, screw it, man. Give them all of New York. Like, what do you guys <laughs> want to see? Let's let's do it. The way they incorporated everything, like we got to see Uptown, then we got it through Central Park. Like he was driving through the park and then you end up in uh, Wall Street. So mm -hmm. freaking smart, man, in the way that all of the action sequences were unexpected. Do you realize they all had kind of like, the, it's own little twist each yeah. one of them like it wasn't as straightforward as i thought it was gonna go mm -hmm. and those surprises keep catching me off guard but at the same time also john because we're expecting something to happen it's like okay mm -hmm. get there on time and then they get there it's like nope the guy is playing games with you mm -hmm. actually it's this situation that's gonna be <laughs> happening brace yeah. yourself for impact and now the train is going sideways through the entire station it's like what the hell is going on dude <laughs> it is so much fun man this movie yeah. was so freaking good i think this is one of my favorite action movies of the year that i've watched this year yeah absolutely and the cinematography in this was so good. Like you got so many different kinds of shots. You had your tracking shots. You had a very smart usage of the handheld. Obviously, we, we've seen this being overdone to death, you know, but in this case, they did it in such a perfect way. It was to give you that jarring, frantic feeling, like you said, right, that the characters are probably feeling in that moment. And I 
I love that. I felt like they took more risks this time around. Yeah, absolutely. It didn't. the The camera work didn't feel as straightforward as in the previous two installments. And I love that they went for that. I love that they they're like, you know what? We're we're going bigger and better, but we're also gonna take some risks and do things a little bit differently compared to the other two. It is a risk, you know. Every time yeah. that you bring in a different editor or you try to change up the style of how you're shooting things, you can potentially change the entire feel of a movie. Mm -hmm. It's it's still photography at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. It's cinematography, right? Mm -hmm. And like the way that it's presented can absolutely change the tone of something and the way that it's edited goes even further and really nailing down what makes a scene work and I think mm -hmm. that in this case they were doing such a great job with the cinematography like you said that whenever there was a moment that felt chaotic whether you were racing down <laughs> barreling through New York City or jumping off and about to explode ship the camera felt like the camera makes you feel like you're right behind them running as well you know mm -hmm. like you're part of <laughs> you're tagging along you know in this incredible adventure and it feels feels both fun but it also feels more intimate and more immersive, right? You feel like you you are there watching them right there, like figure out what the next riddle is. And I feel like those elements is what makes this film so enjoyable because I was locked in, but not just like normally, yeah, I can watch a movie and I enjoy it, obviously. Yeah. But there's movies that just, you know, pull you into the screen and they're <laughs> like, now you get it. Now you get to mm -hmm. feel like the characters. Sequences that make you feel the exact same way that characters feel are one of my favorite things in filmmaking ever yeah. when they're able to break that fourth wall and say, feel that anxiety, man. Well, <laughs> grab that for me, you know? And just live with it. I and, and this movie really did that. It was fun. It was punchy. Mm -hmm. It was nerve wracking. The performances were charismatic mm -hmm. through the roof, man. You got Sam Samuel L. Jackson, Bruce Willis, freaking Jeremy Irons, like yeah. a stacked cast and everybody <laughs> brought in their A game. You know, I have yeah. to say this, this is definitely up to par with the first one. I think, you know, mm -hmm. I, I've enjoyed all of them, but I did think that, you know, seeing the villain in the first, seeing the villain in the third, I think that was kind of lacking in the second one. I did enjoy him, but it was a yeah. different vibe. This guy and also being <laughs> Hans's brother. I know. What? I mean, already they're, they're, those two are always going to be connected now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and that's so cool that they were like, you know what? Let's bring them in, uh, you know, yeah. another, another Gruber character because these guys <laughs> They need it. They kind of enjoyed that from the first movie. I love the performance of Jeremy Irons in this as the villain. I love that he carried that similar elegant feel of his brother. But amongst all of the military people that he was surrounded with, he felt more like, a graceful rather than brutish fighter, if that makes any sense. There are a lot of things that go into building a character in your head, especially as an actor. Everyone has a different process as to how to get there, right? What do they look like? What do they walk like? What song do they listen to? What do they have for breakfast? Like there's sometimes there are those little details in your head that you generate for what you think would match the character. And then you try to find common grounds there, right? And I thought it was so interesting the cho certain choices that he made in the characterization, like the little smirks here and there and the way he was walking his posture and all these other little things that that he added to make this character feel adjacent to Hans Gruber, mm. but not a carbon copy or like a cheap knockoff. Because it would have been so easy to be like, oh, you know, like it worked in this first movie. Yeah, do a 2.0, right? Yeah. Exactly. I'm going to do the same thing, but a little bit different. No, he mm. did his own thing. Obviously, that's something that you notice with real siblings, right? And he was the polar opposite. He was like, you know, blonde hair and blue eyes compared to his brother. And I love that they brought that dynamic there where, you know, the brothers, it wasn't like, you know, they would die for each other or anything. They subverted they were, expectations again. Exactly. You know? Over and over and over again. And it's um, it's great to see, though, that these two brothers have something in common, and that is how methodical and highly intelligent they are. Beware the Gruber family, man. Beware the Gruber family, too. <laughs> they are not to be, you know, messed with. Nope. You know, yeah, in the first movie, there was also that subversion where it's like, oh, no, they're here because of a higher purpose, or right. they're trying to prove something. No, they're just... For the money. Just, you know, good it was just money. there for the money. Oh, it's personal. He wants John because of the brother. And then in the end, he's like, no, just the bonus. <laughs> like, I just wanted the gold, man. You know, that's it. You know, there is certain motifs that echo in the in these sequels. And I love how they introduce them, whether they're visual motifs, kind of referencing the other movies or mm -hmm. even lines and stuff like that. They know these movies are carrying a big audience. They know people yeah. love these movies. And I like those little tip of the hats. You were referring to the little smirks that he was doing in mm -hmm. here and there. And I thought that was so interesting because 
it made me feel again this is my interpretation i don't know if this is something that jeremy was doing in order to you know for any other reason mm -hmm. but the way that he was smirking and seeing john i feel like it added so much context and world building to both of those characters yeah because at this point john mcclain he's a freaking like he's a celebrity right he's <laughs> saved people twice in these massive events they know exactly who this guy is and obviously you know this guy jeremy iron's character i forget mm -hmm. his first name simon i guess simon let's call simon. him simon yeah simon simon Peter. he knows who this guy is right so mm -hmm. i feel like there was a sense of like they said in the beginning of the movie some sort of emotion there i think mm -hmm. he maybe admired him to the point that seeing this celebrity in front of him <laughs> kind of best him certain moments mm -hmm. and or simon almost getting the best of john McLean. there's kind of like this playing around to see who's smarter type of deal and mm -hmm. there was a sense of admiration that was like oh this motherfucker He's still cracking jokes. I got him here in the boat and he still can't break his character, you know? And there's kind of like that playfulness to the whole situation. It makes it really fun to watch. It really does. It feels like he admired every time John McClane figured out how to get through something. He enjoyed the chase of the whole oh, situation. Absolutely. You know, it's not just about having your objective and going after it, but it's also like, this is kind of fun. <laughs> and this was a great time. I can see why you guys have been, you know, letting us know, get through these quick. We need you guys to watch number three. Number Number three, I'm going to say it. I think it is my favorite. I'm going to always, yeah. you know, first one is always going to have a special place in my heart because the first time I saw this. Absolutely. And it just, it surprised me so much. And I was <laughs> like, this is such a fun ride. Two was great. But man, I think three from a, from a writing standpoint, from a script standpoint, from the way that it set out to be script wise and how they move us from point A to point B to point C. It was flawless execution, man. This was a fun ride. Thank you guys so much for watching this with us. We hope that you enjoyed and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. See ya.